The next question, the member for Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Everybody in this House knows that parents are stressed about their children's mental health and their learning success if schools don't open full-time in the fall. But the Premier also needs to know that businesses are stressed, too. I talk to business owner after business owner who say we cannot reopen the economy if our children don't have a place to go in the fall. They're worried about a mass exodus of women from the workplace. The elephant in the room, Speaker, is money. Is the government going to invest the money for our children to be able to go back to school safely, to hire more staff, to have more space, to invest in safe cleaning protocols? These are investments in our children's future. Speaker, the Premier said he would spare no expense in dealing with this pandemic. Will he spare no expense to invest in our children's future so they can go back to school? The Minister of Education. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Thank you to the member opposite for the question for his letter to me yesterday on this matter. Uh, Speaker, the Premier has been clear. We will do whatever it takes to keep students in this province safe. And it's why, Speaker, we've already put in place additional funding for all school boards. It's why we've asked for and announced additional professional development and training of all staff and educators in the province. But, Speaker, I recognize that these challenges are unique and the obligation of the government is to do whatever it takes to achieve that objective. We will work closely with the Chief Medical Officer, with school boards, with our Federation partners, with everyone involved, with moms and dads across the province, to achieve one aim. It's the continuity of learning that is safe for every child in Ontario. Supplementary question. I appreciate the minister's response, but the bottom line is, and every parent, student, and teacher in this province knows that the money the government's put on the table is completely insufficient to be able to safely reopen schools. So I'm going to try to put this in a way the Premier can understand. Businesses go in debt to make investments for their long-term business success because they know there's a huge return in, on investment. Investing in our children is exactly the same thing. Now is the time not to, not to avoid debt but to actually invest in our children's future because the return on investment is priceless. And so I'm asking you, through you, Speaker, to the Minister of Education, will the Premier spare no expense in our children's future so they can go back to school full-time in the fall safely? Minister of Education. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, as the Premier has noted numerous times and members of this team, is we will do whatever it takes to ensure kids remain safe in schools. That is our priority and is what we will achieve. And with respect, in the context of funding, we have announced so far $730 million additional investment and certainly net new investment in school boards. Every board in Ontario has that investment. But beyond the funding and beyond the training, Speaker, we recognize these determinations must be made based on public health advice to ensure that we can respond to the challenges province-wide in 30, 60, and 90 days. To do that, we have three plans in place. And the focus over the coming days will be to work closely with our health experts, with the command table and Dr. Williams, to create a protocol that keeps all students safe, supported by enhanced investments, enhanced training, so that every student and every staff in Ontario is safe in September, Speaker.